Hello everyone. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing good on this wonderful Friday uh evening in my case, but afternoon for all of you in uh America and or Canada. We have in chat a Ardalan, a Corsair, and a Vader. Hello to you all. I hope everyone is doing okay. And I hope that the game that I've picked for today and tomorrow will actually be an enjoyable one. I've never really played it before, I just thought it looked silly, and I went for it. It was really cheap too. <laughs> so, but the, the reviews are positive, the trailer looked funny, so I hope it's good. And I hope it will entertain you guys, that's my main uh, concern. But I, well, I'll try to make it funny too. Hey, Kaori, good evening. Buenosera. Goedenavond as well. How do you say a typical good evening to someone in America, Ardalan? Is it just good evening? Or is it like evening or evening? Or is there like some kind of hidden American slang for it that I have never heard of before? <clears throat> Hey, Antropophagus, good evening to you, too. Greetings and salutations, sir. Hope you're doing good. Haha, uh -huh. it's almost time to begin this silly, silly little game. Well, I say little. It, from the looks of it, it looks like you have to unlock a bunch of stuff, and there's a random effector, so it probably means it's some kind of game that you have to do a lot of times to get everything in a lot of weird ways. So, well, who knows? It might be amazing, like the title says, or it might be meh, but from the looks of it, it looks okay. So I'm just, once in a, once in a while, I just pick a game that I'm like, huh, this could be good, and I just, and I just go for it, you know? But it's just one weekend. After this weekend, hopefully, if everyone is okay with it, and if the weather is fine, we should start Edgeworth 1. But I'll check with my voice cast crew on Wednesday. So after Wednesday, you guys will know on Twitch as well if I start that game on Friday or not yet. But the planning is to do start it sometime soon. And I can already see Corsair's eyes light up because that means like, I don't know, six or seven streams of Edgeworth. Yep, as expected as much. <laughs> but that's only if everyone is okay on Wednesday. I'll check and I'll let you guys know. 
Well, it was only an estimate, Kaori. I don't know, it could be six streams, could be seven streams, could be nine streams or ten. It kind of depends how quickly we go through the cases, I guess, and how much dialogue there is. I'd say anywhere between ten, uh, anywhere between six to ten streams. It's somewhere along that line. I think it is slightly shorter than Apollo, but I'm not sure. Yep, she long lang as well. True. All right, I guess it's time to begin. So first of all, let's go in OBS and go to PC games. Hello, everyone. Good evening to you all. I need my Twitch chat back up. OK, you know the deal. It's a Steam game. Every Steam game has their own voice settings or their own uh, volume settings. I'm going to start it. If it's way too low or way too soft, let me know and I can adjust right away. How's the sound for music? Is it loud? Alright, let's see. Let's lower it. Here. Oh, I need to get my Twitch chat back up. I can't see. Okay. How is it now? I can increase the music a bit. It's the sound effect. You cannot change them, really. There's only a music volume, not a the sound effect volume, so... Like this? How's this? Is this better? Is the sound effects not too hard? N not too loud? I can't change them though, sadly. Well, the beeping should only be in the menu, I think. But I can always change it later if it's still still too loud. Alright. If it's not okay, I can always change it then on the next one. Because this is a game you have to play multiple times. So, we'll just do the first run and see how it goes. Let's go adventure. Between 8030 and 8070, nearly half a million Americans migrated west over wagon trails. This is the story of one party of free... something. Alright, we need a party of free. Who wants to volunteer? We need free brave men or women to join. So give, up a, give a name and then we'll make the party going. We'll do multiple runs, so if you don't get in the first wagon, you can join on the next one. So no worries. It is somewhat it is somewhat similar to Oregon Trail, except that it is more bullshit out of Bufagas. And you can only have, I think, six characters for a name. So let's go for Corsair. Corsair was a fine gentleman or a fair lady. I'm assuming a fair lady.
fair lady. And now you get to pick a... You get to pick a little portrait. Of course, yeah, pick your portrait. More or less dysentery. Long blue hair. Okay. The next party member was... Ardalan. Ardalan was also a fair lady. Right. Just making sure. Yeah, more bullshit on the Pythagoras. This is a game that can end really quickly or drag on forever because of random reasons. Brown hair and green eyes. Okay. And lastly, number three. We need one more brave soul for the wagon. Who wants to volunteer? Do you want to go on the Pythagoras or Ka Kaori? Okay, well, let, let, we'll do on the Pythagoras first, and then Kaori in the next wagon. So, on the Pythagoras, give a name. It's only like A R D E L L A N, like eight characters max. Doctor Quack. There's no periods though, and no space. You sure? There's no... Th I can't do a period or a space. So it would be Dr. Quack in one word. Or I can just do something else. Alright, that's fine too. Okay. Oh. Dr. Quack. Dr. Quack was a fine gentleman or a fair lady. Mail. All right, pick a thing. Oh, it's Elizabeth was a prior. Oh yeah, that A L E Z A B E T. Yeah, that's nine. True. Guess I said. <laughs> Which one, sir? The bearded guy on the top. This one? An awesome beard. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. They traveled in their trusty wagon. So, we can only have the standard completely average wagon, but let's see what you can actually unlock in the game. There's the fantasy, the invisible, the fast, the glitch, the wild, the coal-fired, the diseased, the alien, the ancient, the eastern, the modern, the fancy, the survivalist, the golden, the random, the meta. So there's a lot of wagons to unlock, and I think they all do different things. But let's go with the standard completely average wagon on our first run. I guess. Can't pick anything else. They set off into the forest. And remember, chat can decide on certain things. Seeing the animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. Okay. Ah! Ah, oh, crap. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Oh! And this is all randomly generated. So you can see the health for everyone up there. Trying to escape the bandits, they accidentally rolled into a cave. Oh shit. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. How do you drive into a cave accidentally? Oh. 
Finally, they found their way out of the cave. Ardalon left the wagon to look for berries. Okay. Yay! Picking berries! On her way back to the wagon, Ardalon heard a noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. A bear? Oh, hi. Ah! No! Don't get my berries! Stay away! I can't do anything! Do I have to approach? I can't... Oh, no! Don't approach! Ah! Help! I can't shoot! Do I have to shoot at this one? Okay. Now it's suddenly this kind of a thing where you have to use your mouse. Ah! In its last dying breath, the bear let out a cry for help. The bear the extended family heard the cry. Extended family? Oh, crap. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! That's a big bear family! Survival mode unlocked. You unlocked hard to bear survival mode. Oh, Arnold ran back to the wagon. They reached a river crossing. Okay. Dr. Quack had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Okay. Dr. Quack, which is uh, Anthropophagus' character, do we ford the river or do we jump over the river? Jump. They got a running start and leapt from the top of the ledge. Somehow they safely landed on the other side. How do you do this? They entered into the Great Plains. Okay. They came across a large herd of buffalo. That's a lot of buffalo! Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Oh no! Ah! Ardlan was crushed by a bison. No! No, 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 no! Oh shit. Well, our party is slowly dwindling down. They came across a fur trader. Okay. The fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. Um, uh, Corsair and, yeah, Corsair and Antipophagus, you have characters left, what would you buy? Discuss. You can see the prices, what would you buy? Need health? Okay, I can buy one health. Another health or something else? What is the black ping thing? Uh, I don't know. They're all different weapons. I have no idea. What I currently have is an AK, and I don't know what these are. 16 bullets of these, or 5 bullets of these. Or we could just buy one more health. Well, you have to discuss with Anthropophagus. Get the black ping thing. Okay, okay. Get the black ping thing. We will done trading. Oh, this recreational buffalo shooting started the prairie fire. Oh, it's a laser of some kind. Oh, there's more? Some of the buffalo caught on fire. What? What? Stop cutting on fire! This is ridiculous. Oh, crap. Ah! That's not good. At night, Dr. Quack decided to look for a flower for Corsair. He'd grown fond of Corsair during their travels. Aww. Dr. Quack brought the flower back to camp and gave it to Corsair. Aww. Oh, I love you too, Corsair replied. The two went into the wagon to relax. Yes. Later, Dr. Quack needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. Oh, this again. 
Why is there a zombie? It was a zombie. A lot of zombies. Why are there zombies here now? It seemed this disease had also spread to animals. Ah! Now we have zombie turkeys! You unlocked pain on the plane survival mode. Dr. Quack couldn't believe what had happened or that he had survived. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Okay, so we're gonna jump. Dr. Quack had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through the desert path. Okay, Dr. Quack, you can pick again. Do we go around or do we go swim? Swim. They took a deep breath and then jumped in. How does this work? They faced deadly piranhas. What? And angry narwhals. What? Ah! What? Why? Why? What? This makes no sense! How? Oh shit. Uh oh. A piranha swam into Corsair's throat and ate her from the inside out! No! Corsair! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, 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 oh! Dr. Quack was gored to death by a narwhal. Well, rip. <laughs> the party's journey ended there in a mess of bloody narwhal horns. Whoops. That was hard! But that's how quick the run can go sometimes. Yikes. Alright, um... Like this game, yes or no? I have to, uh, Do I have to adjust the volume, though, for the, for the sound effects? And I can guess I'll start a new run. That was like, what, 10 minutes? Maybe you could have survived if the game had to let you pick up the gun that was on the wall and disappear through the cuts. Yeah... I guess... It's silly, okay. Uh, how is the in-game sounds, though? Is it still too loud? Do I have to change it, yes or no? Before I do a new run. It's fine, it's okay, alright. Let's go adventure. Not loud, okay, good, 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 good. So, <clears throat> we have sadly lost our brave adventurers, so we have to make a new one, a new party. Kaori. Name, gender, and face. Okay, just Kaori, female. Female. She had brown hair and black eyes. Uh, this one. Brown hair, black eyes. The second party member was... Vader. Name, gender, and face. Beer. Girl. Which one? Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. And we need one more. Who wants to join the party of craziness?
Oh, I guess I also could join, I suppose. Fine, 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 fine. Alright, alright. Tom, fine gentleman. Ah, big mustache, fine, why not? Alright, Cody, Vier and me, let's go. And I only have this this one wagon still. So, set off into the forest. Let's go, guys! Adventure! Tom got measles! What? Oh, come on! Oi! Rude. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food. Okay. Wow. Great random event! I'm nearly dead! Skunks are bad. A posse of bandits was the hunt. Oh, thank you. Machine gun armed by the back and arrived. What? 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 The battle passed through a large nest of skunks. Oh shit. Some recovered from measles. Thank god. Oh, you get the health back. That's good. Kaori left the wagon to look for wild berries. Yay! On her way back to the wagon, Kaori noticed a beautiful rainbow. No. Kaori considered the rainbow a sign of good things to come. They reached the river crossing. Tom had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could, could, they could ford it. Um, let's jump. They got a run and start and, from, and leapt from the top of a ledge. Whee! They only made it halfway across the river, they landed in the middle of some rapids! Oh shit. Ah! What? Oh. Okay. I guess we just... avoid? Yeah. Right? Or do I have to actually... No. Oh, I have to go to the right, I think. Ah. Okay. There was a pirate ship blocking their progress. What?! Finally, they reached the other side of the river. Why are there random pirates?! This makes no sense! They entered into the Great Plains. Okay. They came across an area with plentiful good grass. The oxen feasted. The oxen seem to move more quickly after eating well. Okay. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Um. These buffalo look kind of weird. Day number. What? Error unhandled exception, no reference. Okay, there's something weird going on. What? Um. Program. Program reset. Wagon unlocked. Oh, you unlocked. The glitch. They came across a fur trader. We got a new car, I think. The fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. All right, um, party discuss, which is uh, me, Kaori, and Vader. What do we buy? 
for 43 hides. Health? Okay. And one more. They noticed an injured falcon to the side of the trail, and animal lover, Kaori, decided to help. Oh. Coyotes wanted to eat the injured falcon. No! Bad coyotes, stay away. Stay away from my falcon friend, says Kaori with the gun. No. After recovering from its injuries, the falcon was a useful hunting partner. Oh. Oh my. Holy moly. Impressed by its abilities, they decided to carry the falcon with them. Wagon unlocked. You unlocked the wild! A wagon axle broke, the car was stuck. Oh, the wagon was stuck. Oh, crap. Kaori left the wagon to walk to the nearest training post. Miles away. Oh, with the falcon still. Coyotes hounded her. What the? It was a long journey. This it was a very long journey. Day 69. Aww. Kaori, what are you doing? Finally, Kaori reached the training post. Yay! The replacement axle cost all of Kaori's money. Then she had to travel back. Oh, come on! The Falcon is pretty good, though. The Great Plains are huge. Yes, they are. Finally, Kaori reached the wagon. After repairing the wagon, they traveled onward. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Okay. Tom had the brilliant idea to swim on the water through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through a desert path. <sighs> do I want to take revenge on the narwhals for the last time, or do I go around this time? the water falcon it is. They took a deep breath and jumped in. They faced deadly piranhas. And poison the jellyfish. What? Why jellyfish now? Survival mode unlocked. You unlocked fighting fish survival mode. They land on a small island to catch their breath. Okay. Tom noticed some very large eggs sitting on the beach. He fancied an omelette for breakfast. Okay. Omelettes. Unfortunately, the pterodactyls that laid the eggs were proportionately large and were quite protective over the eggs. Ah! 
You're kidding me! What the heck? It seems the island had an isolated ecosystem in which dinosaurs never went extinct. Ah! Tom thought it best to leave the island. They continued swimming to the shore of the river. Wagon unlocked. You unlocked the ancients. It's a triceratops! They entered the mountain pass. Okay. Tom noticed a sword on the side of the trail. He couldn't resist picking it up. A sword? Uh, sure. Okay. Turns out the sword was some kind of ancient magical thing, so a bunch of ninjas wanted it back. What? Why ninjas? Ah, a ninja chopped off Tom's head. Shit! No! When Tom did not return to the wagon, they left without him. Wow. The wolves were relentless even during the snowstorm. Woo! They're fast. Fear died in a wolf attack. No! Uh oh. To the side of the trail, Kaori saw a dark figure. Kaori left the wagon to investigate. A dark figure? It was a lost traveler named Jessica. She joined Kaori's party. Oh! Okay. They were so excited, they accidentally drove off a cliff. What? I heard a buffalo fell off the cliff behind them. No way. Ah! Luckily, the wagon landed in a river. The wagon, now a raft, was carried down river by the currents. Hey, dwarf! Can we... How long is this... Oh, they had to avoid boulders as their wagon navigated rapids. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, ah! Double damn it. Health. Oh, it must have been salmon season because there were a bunch of bears in the river. Bears in the river. Of course. Oh, you can shoot the boulders. That is good. Hey, demonic. Ah! They noticed something on the horizon. It was abandoned on a raft. It seemed the bandits had followed them and set up an ambush. Ambush is not good. Uh oh. A boulder collided with the wagon, sending Kaori off the side into the river. She couldn't swim. No! The bandits had stolen some kind of riverboat. Uh oh. Ah! Jessica died a slow, lingering death after a bullet punctured her stomach. Uh oh. Well. The journey ended there. The bandits took their ammunition and food and left the remains of the wagon floating downriver. Oops. Well, we got further than last time, I guess. So, let's start another adventure. We need three. We need three brave warriors to join the wagon. Who wants to join this craziness? Dwarf, Ardalan, Corsair, and whoever wants to go next will go in the next wagon. So, dwarf, name, gender, and face.
Also, Ardalan, name, gender, face, and Corsair. Dwarf, male, blonde. Okay. Dwarf, male, blonde. Corsair. Corsair, female, long red hair. Ah. Long red hair. And Adlan. Same as before? Green hair, okay. Alright then. Oh, which wagon do we pick? You guys can vote. We either go for the standard wagon... ...or... ...the glitch... ...the wild... ...or the dinosaur. The Triceratops, to be more precise. Dinosaur, dinosaur, dinosaur. Alright, alright, alright. Dinosaur it is. What was the name of the adventure that came that worked like this? It was Reventure. Kaori. Alright, let's go. What do we even attack with? Oh, we throw eggs. The herd had the need to stock them for food. We throw eggs! Oh, and then pterodactyls hatch out of the eggs and kill other things. That's pretty good. A posse of bandits is up to the hunts. Machine gun arm bandit, okay. A bandit patrolling of skunks. Oh. Ardlan left the wagon to look for wild berries. Yay! Look at the massive egg. On our way back to the wagon, Ardlan knows the beautiful rainbow. Oh, rainbow! Ardalan considered the rainbow a sign of good things to come. They reached the river crossing. Corsair had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Corsair! What shall you do? Fords. Okay. They made the probably wise decision to ford the river. Whee! There were boulders in the river. <laughs> but who cares, we're a dinosaur. There were a lot of boulders in the river. Okay. Ow, oh, shit. Something something boulders. Oh, come on! Finally, they reached the other side of the river. Good. <clears throat> ah! More boulders. Stupid boulders. They ended into the Great Plains. They came across a large herd of buffalo. They got bored of all the repetitive buffalo cards, so they sped up. Oh no. No, 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 no! What am I throwing? Iron Lamb was crushed by a bison. No! Buffalo smashes the dwarf, causing massive internal bleeding and a slow, painful death. No! I suck at this one. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. 
They really don't like buffalo, do they? Corsair came across a fur trader. Well, Corsair, you what do you want to buy? Health, I guess that makes sense. Two, yeah. Corsair hear distant gunshots. Oh. Someone might need Corsair's help. Alternatively, she could ignore the gunshots and continue on. Do you investigate or do you move on, Corsair? Investigate. Riding towards the gunshots, Corsair saw bandits were robbing a train. She rode alongside the train. Oh my. Bandits fired down on the wagon from the train. I can't. I have to avoid this one. Some bandits on horseback notice the wagon too. A machine gun arm bandit. Oh, great. Ah, damn it. Died instantly when a bullet entered her brain. Ah, That was a rather shitty one. The party journey ended there and the bandits slaughtered the train passengers. Oh, great. Bah! That one sucked. <laughs> Alright, well... Let's go adventure. It can go really quick like that sometimes. New wagon, new people! Who wants to join? All right, Kaori. Which face, Kaori? And who else wants to join? Two more people. You want to give it a try, Demonic, maybe? What was your face before, Kaori? I forgot. Oh yeah, lower left, okay. Who else wants to join? Oh good, Demonic, I was just curious. Alright, sure, dwarf. One more. Anyone who wants to join? We have Kaori and Dwarf so far. If not, I'll just pick myself for one car, uh, for one trip, I guess. But I was just seeing if anyone else wants to join. I'll, uh, I'll go on the next car. Okay, I'll go on the next one. So let's pick Corsair. Female and Corsair was the red one. Alright, Kaori Dwarf Corsair. Ready? Go! Which wagon do we pick? The standard one? The wild one? The glitch? Or the dinosaur? You guys have to vote.
wild? Okay. The wild. And afterwards, I get to go try the glitch. Oh, the wild one has the falcon. Seeing some animals in the uncomfortable clearing, they heard their head near the stock of the flight. It's always the same. But this one starts with the falcon. Bandits again. Some of the bands could actually aim. Oh, that's not good. Kaori left the wagon to look for wild berries. Way back to the wagon, Kaori heard a noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. <laughs> in its last dying breath, the bear let out a cry for help. A swarm of rabbit squirrels heard the cry. Rabbit squirrels. Oh boy. Kaori ran back to the wagon. They reached a the river crossing. Okay. Kaori had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. So, Kaori, jump or ford? Ford. Alright. We ford. There were boulders in the river. Oh, yeah, this again. <clears throat> A lot of boulders in the river. Something, something, boulders. It's a different pattern than before. How do you even get through there? Uh. Oh. Uh. Damn it. No, wait this time. Oh, no boulders. Okay. You can never tell this game. The Great Plains. Dwarf came down with spotted fever. Oh shit. He came across a large herd of buffalo. <laughs> buffalo, 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 buffalo. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Great. Ah, stay alive, please. I need you. Ah. A buffalo smashed into the dwarf, causing massive internal bleeding and a slow, painful death. No! And now they get a fur trader. Damn. Alright, um... Corsair Kaori... Decide what to buy. Oh, I'd missed it! It's not the regular stuff. What was there? I, I missed what I could buy. There was a special trade. The Falcon for an Uzi! Well, party says no, so we don't.
We saved the animal hides for something else. Ah, this again. Do we help out or do we move along? Corsair Kaori. Okay, pass. They ignored the gunshots and continued on. At night, Corsair decided to look for a flower for Cody. She'd grown fond of Cody during her travels. Corsair brought the flower back to camp and gave it to Cody. Oh! Okay, they went into the wagon to relax. I mean, that's good. They heal up. Later, Corsair needed to relieve herself, so she left the camp again. Oh, great. It was a zombie. Let this again. It seemed this disease had also spread to animals. Didn't we, like, game over here at some point? Or was it further? <laughs> Corsair couldn't believe what had happened or what she had seen, or so had survived. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Oh, we died the narwhals. Okay. Corsair had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river, alternatively they could go around to the desert path. Corsair. Desert, okay. They made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. They ended into the desert. The Falcon got angry at Corsair and refused to fly straight. Oh, shit. They came across a fur trader. The fur trader offered to trade the dinosaur eggs to replace the trained falcon for to spend some animal hides. We can... we can replace our broken falcon or we keep him. Kaori, what do you think? Since you're still in the party. Yeah, they have pterodactyls, that's true. But it's up to the party, Corsair and Kaori, to decide what happens. Corsair says no, we keep the falcon. What does Kaori say? I just saw your comment, the one. Smash TV. Nice, nice. <laughs> nice reference. I like that game. Well, no, we don't. They decided to save the animal heights. They avoided venomous snakes. This thing is annoying when it, like, constantly goes down. The hungry vultures made things worse. What? Oh shit. Falcon is being broken? Oh, I need to change quick. Corsair was killed by a snake bite. No! A man eating. The man eating scorpions arrived! Excuse me? Oh, this is horrible! Ah, 
Koyori felt a burning sensation wash over her body as the poison paralyzed her. She died shortly after. Damn it! Desert is hard. The journey ended there. The wagon part cooked in the hot sand. Bah. Well, you know the drill. Let's go adventure. Let's go adventurer. We need three brave people. I'll go in this one. So two brave people actually for this one. Yeah, the bird was rebelling. Yeah, that didn't make things any easier. Okay, I'll go and Arnalan and who else wants to join? Also, hello, Visor1. Welcome to the chat. Hope you have a good time. Adelon, female. Was it the green haired one? Adelon? And Vader, what was your face? Green eyes. Oh, right. Oh, he remembered. Short blondes. Ah, okay. I found your YouTube channel four years ago because I was looking for someone who played all three loader games. Oh, well, that's a long time ago. Yeah, I did play all three of them. Nice, welcome. Hope you enjoyed those. That's a long time ago that I played those. Damn. Tom Ardlanvere. All right, let's go. Which wagon do we pick? Dinosaur, wild, glitch? Or the normal one. Yeah, dinosaur, glitch, uh, wild, or normal one. It was when you were right in the middle of the crazy long laser light game. Oh yeah, I remember that one too. That was a hard game. Glitch? Okay, we'll try the glitch. The glitch. Zero four, da uh, zero four bigger than dollar question four D S Y J G eight. Brackets, apostrophe, W O apostrophe 72. What does this thing even do? It fires random crap. Okay. This thing is weird. Oh, they explode into confetti. No, no first to collect on this one. That's kind of bad. Yeah, no first to collect on this one. But it's strong, I guess. A machine gun bandit, okay. Okay, I take it back. The thing is not so great. Ardalan went to left the wagon to look for wild berries. Ardalan always goes for wild berries for some reason. On her way back to the wagon, Ardalan heard the noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. Rabbit squirrels. Ardalon ran, Ardalon ran back to the wagon. Veer had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river or they could ford it. Vader, what would you do? Jump, alright. You gotta run and start and leapt from the top of a ledge. Somehow they made it across the river, however, they landed near a den of bears, and the large thud woke the bears. Because, of course.
They entered into the Great Plains, okay. It seems like this game has like several set stages, like the forest, the Great Plains. The oxen came down with pneumonia. They moved very sluggish. Oh no. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Not now! So slow! So slow! Some angry buffalo charged the wagon, okay. Yeah, the game is rather wild. I'm playing it for the first time today. How did I get one fur, by the way? When did I get one fur? The auction recovers from pneumonia. Okay, good. They came across a fur trader. Well, I can't buy anything! The fur trader offered to trade them a smaller, easier to maneuver wagon for 50 animal hides, but no, we didn't have enough. All of the recreational buffalo shooting started the prairie fire. Oh, great. The smoke was suffocating, so they hurried to escape the fire. Also, I thought the fire rate on the glitch was fast. It's not. It's actually random. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's uh, slow. Which is bad. The front wheels of the car fell off. The wagon was stuck. Oh, great. Not this again. Tom left the wagon to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled down near a coyote den. Uh-oh. The second wheel rolled down into a camp filled with bandits. Tom returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. Phew! They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Okay, so we swim. Oh, Tom had the brilliant idea to swim on the water of the river because it could go out through the desert path. I'm going on the water again. I'm gonna swim. Whee! Daddy piranhas, yes. Poisonous jellyfish, yes. I just wanted some hides. Uh oh, the narwhals. The narwhals are back! The narwhals! Giant squid blocked their path. What? Fear drowned to death in a blast of squid ink. Bah. Tom noticed the treasure chest in the water. He swam from the water to in from, from the wagon to investigate. Pressure? He felt that there had to be something super amazing inside, but he was hesitant and wasn't sure if he should open it. <sighs> open chest? Oh, don't open chest. Ah! Have you played Evo? Yes, I've played that one. I have played Evo, yeah. It's a good good game. Rather difficult though, but I liked it. I've played it off stream at some point. Yeah, I'll open the chest. You opened it and found a diseased pistol. You what? They continued on swimming in the shore of the river. And to the mountain pass. What is a diseased pistol? 
food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. Oh, it's like skunks. They explode in a bit of green. A pack of wolves smelt the blood. Oh, damn it. Dom died in a wolf attack. No! It's up to you, Eidolon. Maybe. You unlocked Howlin' Good Time Survival Mode. Eidolon came across a fur trader. Okay. Okay, Eidolon, what would you like to buy? Damn! Health is expensive now. Yeah, the game has a lot of unlockable wagons and modes. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, these are other guns, Eidolon. This one is the dinosaur egg we had earlier, and this one is just the laser gun. Health, okay. The mountain pass was cold, so at night Ardalon drank to stay warm. That's a lot of booze. Inebriated, Ardalon left. Oh no, she's drunk! Unfortunately, her drunken stumble attracted the attention of a swarm of rapid squirrels. Whoa, this is weird! <gasps> oh crap. Ardalon managed to stumble back into camp. Ah! It was the wrong camp. It was a camp filled with bandits. Ardalon ran away drunken with bandits chasing behind her, though she made it back to the wagon, but the effect of the alcohol made it hard to steer. Oh no! Whoa! Okay, this will not end well. Nope. A bullet hit Ardalon directly in the heart, killing her. Damn. The fight is already ended there, the bandits took the, uh, took the alcohol and supplies. Crap. Oh, we got a new thing unlocked at least. Was well, not too bad. We have not even finished a single run yet, guys. We have not even finished a single run yet. Well... Let's go adventure. Who wants to join in the next wagon? Raise your hand. Yeah, true, true. It all depends on who you put in the wagon, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> put me in the coach, okay, and Kaori. Alright, Kaori. Same as always. And a visor. I need a nickname, I need a gender, and I need, I need a face and hair color for you. Kaori, female, and you had this one. And we need a third character. Who else wants to join the side Kaori and visor? This male. Black hair, dark skin. Alright. Viz. Male, dark skin, black hair. Uh, which one? There's three options, Viz. This one, this one, or the one with the mustache. Oh, bottom right. This one with the gray hair? The old dude. Alright. Good. Corsair, same as always.
All right, Cody vs. Corsair. High five each other and let's hope and pray that we get a little further. Uh, oh yeah, which wagon? Standard Wild. Yeah, Standard Wild Glitch or Dinosaur. Hey, Drock. Good evening. Wild, wild, wild. Oh, okay. That's an easy pick. Let's head up into the forest. Alright. Well, let's see. Maybe we get a little further. What was the highest amount of days we survived so far? Was it like... 89 or something? Well, yeah, the glitch one doesn't count. The glitch one doesn't count. I meant like an actual number. Machine gun arm bandits, alright. The Falcon got angry at Kaori and refused to fly straight. Great. Viz left the wagon to look for wild berries. On his way back to the wagon, Viz noticed the entrance to the cave. He decided to investigate. It was very dark inside. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with guns and ammunition. Oh, nice! Viz returned to the wagon with the guns. The Falcon became more cooperative. Okay, also good. They reached a the river crossing. Corsair had a brilliant idea to jump, but you could also ford. So, Corsair, jump or ford? Jump. Alright, they got a running start and leapt from the top of the ledge. Whee! Somehow they made it across, however, they landed in a, in a bee's nest, angering the swarm. Oh shit. Ah! The bees! Uh oh. Ah! They entered into the Great Plains. Ah, we survived somehow. Jeez. Corsair became ill with meningitis. Yikes! They came across a large herd of buffalo. Again! Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Guys, I think the game is trying to tell me something. Something buffalo. Could be wrong. The number of buffalo was absurd. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, lots of hides. Look at all this money. Some angry buffalo charge the wagon, of course, as they do. Mm. 
Oh. Corsair recovered from the meningitis. That's good. Ah. They came across a fur trader. Ooh, time to buy. Maybe. The fur trader offered to trade them a laser cannon to replace their trained falcon. Alright, everyone in the wagon, which is Visor, Kaori, or uh, Corsair, do we buy the laser cannon or do we stick with our little falcon buddy? We have one laser, we have one no, and we have one maybe. Well, Falcon is OP. Well, alright, this time no. But consider the options that we may have to try out different weapons to unlock other stuff at some point. But for now, we'll say no. They decided to save their animal hides. They heard distant gunshots. Oh, this event again. Do you guys want to investigate or continue on? Yes, investigate, yes. Okay. Yep, the train stuff again. Bands fire down on the wagon from the train. Yeah, I can't... Sadly, I cannot hit those. So just have to avoid for now. Force back. Oh, yeah. I think I got as far as the machine gun, and then I just... Oh, then I just died. Well, it's not going... That great. Machine gun, yeah. Oh, got it. As a reward for saving the train, the conductor gave them 100 animal hides. Wagon unlocked. You unlocked the coal fired. Ooh. 100 hides and a new car. The wagon axle broke, the car was stuck. Viz left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post, miles away. Oh boy. Coyotes hounded him. was a long journey. I want to spend these hides. We have way too many. It was a very long journey. Finally, Viz reached the trading post. Ah. Cost all of Viz's money, and then he had to travel back. The Great Plains are huge. The coyote hungered first for Liz's juicy thigh meat. It ate its way up to his face. No! Liz did not return to the wagon, so Cory left for the trading post. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. This is not cool. Oh man. Coyote's hounded her. I have to do this again.
Scar is stumbled upon the camp of sleeping travelers. Oh. Kaori noticed the travelers had left supplies sitting out in the camp. She was tempted to steal the supplies. Kaori, steal or don't steal. Okay, okay, okay. Kaori decided to steal the supplies. Kaori felt bad for stealing the supplies, but knew she'd need all that she could get. Finally, Kaori reached the trading post. Uh, again, we go back with the wagon wheels. I guess you have to do this event. No, I don't know what this event gives, uh, Fizz. Not everything gives, uh, gives a new unlock. Some things are mandatory, like this one. And there are mostly just random things you have to endure or find. And that, will, uh, that may unlock something. This one is just... Okay, reach the wagon. This one is just always there. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Alright. Who gets to decide? Kaori had a brilliant idea. Okay, Kaori, do we swim or do we go for the desert path? Yeah, pretty much, Fizz. Pretty much. Maybe the desert is a bad idea. Swim. Alright. Let's swim then. Whee! Deadly piranhas. Look at how many furs we have, guys. Giant squid blocked the path. Of course, I noticed the treasure chest in the water. She swam for the wagon to, for the wagon to investigate. Corsair. Do you want to open the chest or no? Call me Visor. Visor, okay. Yeah, the game has a nine limit. Uh, a nine character limit, actually. Of course, yes. A bunch of ninja stars! We found a bunch of ninja stars. I guess that replaces our falcon. They continue to swim the shore to the river. They enter the mountain pass. Yeah, ninja stars. Food supplies were dwindled, they were hunt hunted. Yeah, the falcon got replaced by uh, ninja stars. Some of the llamas spat at the wagon. The llamas stopped spitting when the wolves arrived. Came across a fur trader. Finally! The fur trader offered to trade them even more ninja stars for 105 animal hides. Well, maybe the maybe the fire rate goes up. Yeah, maybe you shoot a spread of stars. Maybe. No way to know. Unless you try it, I guess. Try. They traded for even more ninja stars. And now it's auto fire. The mountain pass was cold, so at night they drank to stay warm. Innerbrated, Corsair left the wagon to relieve herself. 
Oh boy. Her drunken stumble attracting the attention of some bears. Managed to stumble back into camp. Wrong camp. Ow. Cassandra ran away drunken with bandits chasing behind her. She made it back to the wagon and they left in a hurry. However, they were all drunk. Great. Didn't we die here last time? After a long night of vomiting, they felt awful and accidentally dropped off a cliff. Ah, uh, boy. The wagon passed through a flock of crows. Ah! What the? Luckily, the wagon landed in the river. The wagon, now a raft, was carried down river by the currents. They had to avoid boulders as their wagon investigated rapids. I think we've been here before once. Uh, if you attack a bandit camp, aren't you the bandits? Well, maybe. It must have been salmon season because there were a bunch of bears in the river. Great. <laughs> Gotta say, the ninja stars are pretty good. They noticed something on the horizon. It was a bandit on a raft. It seemed the bandit had to follow, follow them and then they had to set up an ambush. Yeah. We've been here before once, I think. Kind of riverboat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Following the attack, the river became calm. They reached the coast. Kaori left the wagon to admire the sunset. Kaori heard a noise coming from the water. What? A giant squid wanted the sunken treasure back! Uh, dead? Oh, finally, Kaori could relax and watch the sunset. Did you just pick up the squid? Soon there would be more wagons heading down the trail. Shuffle mode unlocked. Oh, shuffle mode unlocked. Wagon unlocked. Oh, the fancy. Congratulations. Oh! We did it! We survived one! Woo! Good job. So now there's shuffle mode, which is new, and we have survival matches as well, and we have a normal adventure still. So, let's check out shuffle mode, I guess. Shuffle, high score, okay. But day one, oh, this is, okay, this is just random. Well, it's just checking. 
can't pick my party for this one. Falling Buffalo. Oh! These are all the little uh, mini events randomly thrown together, I guess. Zombies? Okay. Bandits with rocket launch. What? Ah! Boulders. What? Lava bombs. What? Excuse me. Buffalo's on fire. Okay, yeah, we've hinted on this before. Ow. I think... Wait, when did someone get killed, by the way? Didn't we have three people? What happened? Bears. Buffaloes on rafts and alligators. Alligators? Oh, the rocket launcher killed one instantly. Okay. I missed that one. Ah! Buffalo. Again. Rabbit squirrels, okay. Lava bombs, whoops, ah! Giant bats, what? Okay, that was quick. <laughs> I survived for 13 days. Okay, well that was fun to try out. We'll do that once in a while. Um, let's do another adventure! Let's go adventure! Who wants to join the crazy wagon? Dwarf, Eidolon, who else? Green eyes, right? Visor, okay. Top right, dark skin, dude. Okay, okay. Okay. Wow. 
Visor, male. Dark skin, do it this one, top right, okay. Alright, Dwarf, Ardalan, Visor. High five, get ready, and. Which wagon? Shall we try the new one? The fancy? Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> um. You have to beat the game in every wagon. There's a green check mark for this one now. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that makes it a bit tricky, but you have to beat the game in every wagon. But yeah, oh yeah, we have the coal one as well. The coal wagon and the fancy one. You guys want to go in the fancy wagon or the or the coal one? Visor, Visor Ardalan and uh, dwarf. Coal or fancy? Coal wagon, coal wagon, fancy. Well, it's two against one, so I guess we'll do coal. I mean, I want to see the fancy one as well, though. But we'll do coal first. Takes a year to arrive. That sounds bad. It shoots smoke. This thing shoots smoke. Smoke that floats upwards, actually. It doesn't reach all the way, though. Visor left the wagon to look for wild berries. A bear wanted the berries. Rabbit squirrels. Bye, run back to the wagon. I wanted to actually get the first, but okay, never mind. Visor had a brilliant idea to try to jump over the river or they could ford it. Visor, jump or ford? Ford, okay. Ford the river. Whee! boulders in the river. So, how many days was it the last run where we fought the squid at the beach? Then we can determine like how long a run is. Was it like 150 days or something? And the Great Plains. This is not a good weapon for a large amount of groups. Okay, this is fine. This weapon is not good when you have a large group of enemies, because it only kills one at a time. Fur Trader, alright. Trade them a Falcon to replace the hot air gun. Didn't have enough. We are not 
able to get the Falcon, sadly. There's some gun noises. Someone might need their help. Investigate or no? Visor, Ardalan, and a dwarf. Investigate Dwarf, Investigate Visor, and Ardalan as well. Okay, it's unanimous. Investigate. But yeah, we can see if we can now kill these things on top of the train. Because it goes up. Yep, you can. A little tricky, but you can. gun Dang it. Bullet hit Artlan in the head. No. Damn it. I'm doing bad. Ah. Oh. This is a rough, rough fight. At what cost? In the distance they saw a woman in a red dress walking alone. Dwarf left the wagon to help if she needed to see if she needed help. Ah! It was a bandit in disguise. It was a bandit ambush. Bandits on horseback swarmed in all directions. Shit! Ah, uh, a bullet hit Dwarf in the head, killing him. No! Crap. Dwarf did not return to the wagon, so Visor left without him. Visor reached another river! This one was too deep to ford. Alright, Visor. Do you swim or go around to the desert? Swim it is. How does a train swim? Water buffalo, buffalo, water buffalo, 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 buffalo. Are you kidding me? Buffalo's underwater. Why? Oh, Can't kill them all fast enough! Ah! Nope. Fires up a struck by a water buffalo and drowned. Th this. Yeah. This is a, not a good weapon for crowd control. Ouch. Huh. <sighs> well, that ended poorly. Oh well. Let's go adventure. Next one. Who wants to join in the next brilliant weapon? No, a wagon, not weapon, wagon. I'll, uh, I'll hop in for one. The smoke gun is sketchy. Yeah, it's difficult to hit lots of targets. If for one, it's fine. But if you have a large group, it's really hard. Corsair. Female and Corsair had this one. Who wants to be number three?
Alright, sure. Kaori. Female, and you had... This one. Right? It's bottom left, right? Just making sure. Alright. High five to Corsair and Kaori. Let's do this. We'll try out the fancy wagon next. The fancy. What is this gun? Oh no, this is terrible! This is a... This has six bullets and then it has to reload! You know, like a classic gun. This is awful. Yeah, I can only shoot six times and then it has to reload. Trying to escape the bands, they accidentally rode into, rode into a cave. Oh, hi. No, not the spiders! Not the spiders! Not the spiders! Ah! Ah, I can't kill these with this stupid gun! Go away, spiders! Oh, give me that. Ah! Ah! Tom messed around with the revolver and accidentally jammed it. Now I can't fire at all! Tom left the wagon to look for wild berries. Oh no. I can only shoot twice now. On his way back to the wagon, he heard noise in the trees. A bear one a bear one of the berries. Damn it! I can only shoot twice now! Rabbit squirrels. Uh oh. Doesn't fire when I wanted to fire! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Fix this dang thing. They ate a tasty meal of buffalo chili. Mmm. Yum 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 yum. They fixed the revolver jam. Good. They reached the river crossing. Okay. Corsair has the idea. Okay. Jump or Ford. Jump. They got a running start from leap off the top of a ledge. Whee! Landed near a den of bears. Okay. This gun is the worst! It only fires six times! Ugh. Give me that. Whatever it is, give me that. Okay, the Grange Plains. Whee! They came across a large herd of buffalo. I think this is standard. Like, the buffalo herd is, I think, always there. They got bored of all the repetitive buffalo encounters, so they sped up. Oh no. No, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I can only fire so many times. Okay, now I have an AK. That's much better. Now they charge the wagon. Okay. Came across a fur trader. Okay, okay. Supplies. All right. Uh, Kaori Corsair, and what should we buy? We can get some AK ammo. We can get the rocket launcher, or we can just get some health, or a combination of the two or three.
We can get like two health. Then we have 42. So we have 21 left. Yeah, let's go for that. So two health and one of these. Seems good. There was a tornado. Uh-oh. The wagon was picked up by the tornado. What? Along with some buffalo. Of course! Holy crap, that fast. Ah! At night, Tom decided to look for a flower for Corsair. He'd grown fond of Corsair during their travels. Yay! And brought it back to camp. Hello! And they went to relax. You know. Later, Tom needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. And there were zombies. God, this gun is so bad. I want that gun, I want that gun. It seems this is for animals, okay. Yeah, that's usually... that one. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Okay. Corsair! Desert area or swim again? Desert. Okay. And we never survived the desert, right? Don't think so. They came across a gambling cowboy. The cowboy bet them all of their animal hides that they couldn't kill 25 quails in 20 seconds. Accept the bet or don't. Yeah, I want to say no. We have a horrible weapon, so no. They refused the bets. They couldn't risk losing all of their animal hides. Yeah. They avoided venomous snakes. Yeah, my main issue is with this wagon, the default weapon is bad. So I need some other stuff to get through here. The hungry vultures made things worse, of course. Man-eating scorpions arrived. I think we died here. Ah, a giant scorpion stung Kaori in her face, killing her instantly. No! Damn it. Oh, you survive. You unlocked just desserts. Survival mode. They noticed some kind of ancient rune on the side of the trail. Corsair decided to investigate. Ooh. Okay. It was very dark inside. Upon lighting the torch, he found it was filled with undead mummies. Ah! Wait. Aren't mummies already undead?
Corsair ran from the ruins back to the wagon. They got completely turned around and lost! Oh shit. Oh no, the controls are reversed! They end up at the start of the desert. What? You're kidding me. Tom accidentally dropped the revolver in some sand and jammed it. No, not again. They came across a fur trader. Okay, that's somewhat good. <sighs> okay, uh, Corsair, what shall we buy? I would like a different weapon, blocks. <laughs> the bottom weapon, yeah. They avoided venomous snakes. We are close to the end, though. Day 128. Oh, this is the spread shot. This is nice. The hungry vultures made things worse. Oh, we've already done this. The man eating scorpions again. They noticed some supplies in the sand on the side of the trail. Corsair left the wagon to investigate. Ooh. Corsair then realized why the supplies were there. She was in quicksand. No! Get out, get out, get out, get out! The scorpion saw her as weak prey. Oh shit. Ah! No, 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 no! Somehow she pulled herself out of the quicksand and returned to the wagon. Holy crap. They entered the mountain pass. Holy moly. They fixed the revolver jam. Good. Tom noticed a sword on the side of the trail. He couldn't resist picking it up. Oh yeah, I did not clear this event last time. Yeah, the ninjas. I did not clear this one last time, I think. The silly ninjas. Some of the ninjas had ninja stars. Oh shit. We have to shoot them back. We're playing Zelda now. Du -du -du -du. Impressed by the sword, they decided to keep using it. Oh, you unlocked the Eastern. A snowstorm began. The wolves were relentless even during the snowstorm. This weapon is only short range! Ah! This is not a thing you fire! This is literally long, short range. To the side of the trail they saw a dark figure. Tom left the wagon to investigate. Ooh. There was a lost traveler named Hannah. She joined the party. Nice! Look, you have a twin. They were so excited they accidentally drove off a cliff. Oh boy. A herd of buffalo fell on behind them. Ah, uh, great. I'm about to die by a falling buffalo on my head. Luckily the wagon landed in the river. I think after this river events you get to the end 
right? How am I gonna kill the riverboat with this horrible weapon? A boulder collided with the wagon, sending Tom up the sides of the river. He couldn't swim. Uh, bah. Well, it's up to Corsair and the twin, Hannah. Oh, damn it. Ah! Bunch of sharks in the river! Oh no! Fast sharks! Really fast sharks! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! Bandit on the raft. Can you just deflect bullets, maybe? Oh, you can. Oh, that makes it easier. This thing can deflect bullets, but there are a bullet hit the in the head, killing her. Damn it. Not survive. Uh oh, I'm dead. Yep. <sighs> and of course, there's a first aid kit. Bah. Oh well. Hey, we got a new wagon. We got a new wagon. It wasn't all too bad. Before we do a new one, let's take a quick look what survival mode is. Hard to bear, pain on the plane, just dessert, fighting fish, howling good time. Let's do hard to bear. Okay, star ratings, let's try. Guess you have to survive a certain amount of time and you get a star rating for that. This might also unlock something. But it gets really hard real quick. A bear ate Elizabeth. Damn. Congratulations. Yeah, I knew best time. Oh, that was one star! Alright, let's try another one. Pain on the plane, and then we'll go back to the adventuring. Oh, this is the zombie one. Whoa! Zombie and buffalo. Damn buffalo! They come from the left as well. Wow, this is rough. Congratulations. That was horrible. Not even one star. Oh well. I guess it's one star is one minute, then two is two, and three. I think maybe survive three minutes. Not sure. We'll try more later. Right now, we have an adventure to do, though. Let's go adventure. Who wants to join the next crazy adventure?
Dwarf, male, this one. Vader, anyone else? Maybe Antipophagus? You haven't tried in a long while? Or, not sure, anyone else? Just shout! We just had Corsair and Kaori, I think. Oh wait, no, I was me. I don't know, it was me and two others. A oh, Corsair. Yeah, me, Corsair, and. I already forgot who was in there. Whoops, that's bad. <laughs> Sorry. Was it Ardalon? Uh, I'm not sure. Could have been. But, alright. Kaori. Let's go. Female and this one. Alright. Dwarf, Vader, Kaori. Let's try out the new wagon that we got. Which was... The Eastern. Oh, this is the sword one. Okay. Makes sense. Vera got spotted fever. Great! Good start. Pause your bandits, okay. Kinda cool you can just bounce the bullets back, right? If I aim right. Oh, can I do that? Yeah, but it's a bad idea. Just shoot like that. Yeah, get one back and then back out. Oh, even better. They recovered from the spot of fever. Good. <sighs> Dwarf led the wagon for look for berries. Looking for berries! Enters through a cave. Okay. It was very dark inside. Giant spiders! Oh, great! Dwarf ran for the cave back to the, back to the wagon. And now the first river crossing! <gasps> Whoops. Kaori, jump or fort? Jump! Bears. Great. This weapon is not good for lots of enemies. I mean, it's strong, but it does not kill the big bears in one hit. And now the Great Plains. Oh yeah, this is gonna be bad. That. Oh, okay. Buffalo, 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 buffalo.
I hope we get a fur trader to get some health. Oh, angry buffalo. Time that perfectly. Don't get killed, Cody. Oh shit, I wanted to grab that. <sighs> they want to trade the sword for a diseased pistol. Dwarf Cody Vader. Well, two against one, so we'll buy the diseased pistol. There was a tornado. Great. And buffalo in there. Front boost of the wagon fell off and the wagon was stuck. Dwarf left the wagon to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled down near a coyote den. Second would run to the camp of the bandits. Dwarf returned to the wagon to put the wheels back in place. They reached another river. Alright. So far we're doing okay-ish. Half health. Dwarf had the brilliant idea to swim or go around to the desert area. Swim. Alright. I think you have to clear both uh, exits at one point, right? You have to like clear the water section, you have to clear the desert section. And narwhals. Oh no, the narwhals are back. Poisonous jellyfish as well. Land on a small island to catch their breath. Vera noticed some supplies sitting on the beach. She left in the wagon to investigate. Vera then realized why the supplies were left there. The supplies were guarded by a flock of angry pelicans! Ah! Oh my god! Pelicans are not annoying. Vera ran back to the wagon. They quickly left the island and returned to the shore of the river. What the heck? The end of the mountain pass. There was a lot of pelicans. Fear noticed a sword on the side of the road. They couldn't resist picking it up. But I already have that thing! I already have this thing! <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
It will not end well. Oh. A snowstorm began. At my city sword again. Oh boy. A dark figure Kaori left her back into investigate. What the what the what the what the It was a Bigfoot! The Bigfoot was mad! Kaori ran back to the wagon and left in a hurry. This accidentally drove off a cliff. <sighs> a herd of buffalo fell off the cliff. I just noticed I can go up when I fall down. I can divide gravity and go up, which is strange. This game is quite silly, but I like it. The wagon fell into a spiral of light. Whoa! When the lights faded, they landed on a strange trail made of rock. They continued forward. Oh! Uh. Strange horseless metal wagons came hurtling towards them. Ah! What the? Fear was run over by a metal wagon. Damn it! Some men in a black and white metal wagon tried to get them to pull to the side of the trail. They suspected the men were bandits, so they continued down the trail. There's a police car! The men in the metal wagons opened fire. The man has some kind of flying machine. What? <laughs> Kaori's head got caught in the spinning blades of the flying machine. Ah! Dwarf managed to survive the attack. He decided to travel off the trail to avoid further attention. <sighs> Wagon unlocked. You unlocked the modern! Dwarf reached the coast. Dwarf left the wagon to admire the sunset. My god. <sighs> Soon there would be more wagons heading down the trail. Yeah! We beat it with the Eastern Wagon! And we got a new wagon too! Alright! Oh, that was intense! That was crazy. Alright, let's go adventure. Who wants to join the next adventure? Corsair and Adelon. Corsair female. That one. Ardalan. Uh, 
a female and green eyes. Because I had weird things. Well, hey, um, I want to thank you for finding the the, war the, 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 the the time portal to the modern age to unlock a car. It's cool. Kaori, it's cool. Ah, I'll join too. Why not? Why not? Yay, Corsair Ardlan and me! And we'll take the car, because who wants to drive a silly coach when you have a car? Air condition too! With a random spread fire. Wait, why are we- I missed that. Why do we have one health? Why do we have one health? Of course I left the wagon to look for wild berries. A bear wanted the berries. No! These are my berries! Extended family, oh boy. Corsair, live! So I ran back to the wagon. They ate a good meal of bear burgers! They reached the river crossing. Ardalan had the brilliant idea to try to jump or ford. Vroom vroom indeed. They're berries? Uh, maybe, Demonic, maybe. I guess the car is the reason we have 1 HP only. Jump! Whee! Okay. Of course, more bears! The Great Plains. Okay. We have at least somewhat good health. This weapon is a lot better for crowd control. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Hey guys, I don't know what this is. What do you think? Is, is it a buffalo, maybe? The number of buffalo was absurd. Lots and lots of hides. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon.
Uh oh. <laughs> I don't wanna die! Okay. Fur trader. Okay, supplies. I'm getting a little bit of health. Okay. Should we just max out our health, Ardalan Corsair, or should we buy some ammo? What do you think, Ardalan? Should we buy health, or should we get some weapons? The second one is just a fast gun, the third one is a machine gun. Okay, health and weapons. We'll do 50-50, so we'll get this, and we'll get that, and health, and this, and more health. They passed through a civil war battle! What?! The wagon's interference in the battle decimated both Union and Comfort forces. The war was lengthened and there was a great loss of life. The front wheels of the wagon fell off. The wagon was stuck. Corsair left the wagon to fetch the wheels. Okay. Roll to do a haunted burial site. Ah, there's ghosts! Oh, you can't kill them. Ah, ah, ee, oh. Okay, Corsair returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. They reached another river. Alright, who gets to decide? Corsair, do we swim or do we go for the desert? Uh. Desert, no more narwhals, okay. Okay, let's see what we get here then. This car is totally made for this kind of travel. Oh, the gambling cowboy. Couldn't kill 20 quails in 15 seconds. Yes or no? Ardalan? Corsair, would you want to take the bets or no? Accept. All right. They won the bet and got 42 animal hides. Nice. They avoided venomous snakes. The hungry vultures made things worse.
Instead of running out of water, they traveled faster. I noticed some kind of ancient ruin on the side of the trail. Okay, Tom decided to investigate. I have low health! Don't put me in there! Let Ardalon do it! Damn it. <sighs> this is where I'll die, guys. Undead mummies. Or not. I'm fine. The end of the mountain pass. Okay. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. Yeah, that's true. A pack of wolves smelt the blood. This is a really nice weapon, it's just kind of random. A wolf ate Corsair's insides. No! I'm gonna die too! The hungry wolf paused only to lick the blood of its lips as it ate Tom. Shit! Art like came across a fur trader. Oh my god. Um. Heal? Ardalan, I guess. <laughs> I take that as a yes. Oh boy. Turns out a nearby mountain was actually an active volcano. You what? Ardalan rushed to avoid the approaching lava. Ah! Wolves burning alive rang out from the lava flow. Ah! Volcanic bombs rained down from above. Oh boy. The lava got closer. Ah! Oh no 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 no! Oh shit! Stay alive, Ardalan! Distracted by the lava, Ardalan drove over a cliff. Okay, phew. Oh my god! A flock of crows. Ah! Ardalan's still alive somehow. Luckily, the wagon landed in the river, the wagon now arrived, was carried down by the river. <sighs> Jeez. Ardalan had to avoid boulders. Oh yeah, okay. What a crazy adventure, Ardalan. Bunch of alligators in the river. I don't know something on the horizon, it was abandoned on the raft. Okay. This is usually the same. By the way, it's day 
Damn. The bandit had stolen some kind of riverboat. Oh yeah. And there's alligators here too, of course. Give me that health. Oh my god. The river became calm. Ardlan reached the coast. Ardlan left the wagon to admire the sunset. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Soon there will be more wagons. Yay! Woo! Victory! Ardalan the Survivor! Good job! Speaking of Survivor, let's try the next one, just desserts. Oh, it's this one. Oh, this is okay. So, I guess I have streamed this game for long enough to give you guys a good idea. What do you think of this game? This is getting way fast now. I have no idea how long I have to survive, but we'll try. Ah, a snake bite killed Pamela. Crap.
A giant scorpion held Christopher in place with its claws and stung Christopher in the eye. Ugh. A giant scorpion stung Michelle in her face, killing her instantly. Bah. I got 3 minutes 45 seconds. How good was that? Oh! Three stars! Okay, that is one I don't have to do anymore. Good! Alright! Let's do the next adventure! Let's go adventure! Who wants to join on the next crazy expedition? Only female, that one. Who else? Viz, you're here? Or, uh, oh, the monic said no. Antopophagus, anyone else? Who hasn't, who hasn't tried for a while? I was in the last one, so I'll skip this one. Last one was Corsair, Ardlan, and me. So now we have Kaori and two others. Dwarf, Vader, Corsair, Ardlan again, anyone? That one. I need one more brave soul. Who wants to join? Who wants to be number three? Anyone? If not, anyone wants to go, I'll just fill in the slot myself. Alright, I'll go myself. Kaori, Vader, and me. Let's do this! Which wagon shall we take? I guess we don't have to take the ones that we already cleared something with, so we have the normal one... The glitch... The coal one... So normal glitch, coal, dinosaur... Fancy... So... Normal glitch, coal, fancy. Oh, and dinosaur. Normal glitch, coal, dinosaur, fancy. Which one would you guys prefer? Kaori and Vader, you can vote. Standard, okay. I'm just gonna look how they want you to unlock the other ones. Unlocked by magic. Unlocked by self-discovery. Unlocked by jumping very high. Uh, unlocked by catching something. Unlocked by mystery. Unlocked by winning with everyone alive. Oh. Wait, we never had that before? I guess not. You have to win with everyone alive at the end. Ouch, that's hard. Unlocked by getting all the gold stars? Okay. Unlocked by lasting 50 days! 
in shuffle. Okay. Unlocked by getting 16 check marks. Okay. The check marks are the ones we got for clearing uh, levels with certain wagons, so okay. Well, let's do normal then. The normal wagon. I think the beginning is always the same. Yeah, the beginning is always the same, it seems. Kaori left the wagon and found some edible mushrooms. Kaori ate one of the mushrooms on the way back to the wagon. She felt funny. Whoa! Kaori battled her inner demons. What? Painful memories bounced around her head. What is going on? Hours later, Kaori returned to, reta to reality and the wagon. Oh, you unlocked the invisible! Okay, we got a new car, a new wagon. Thanks, Cody. Do you want to jump or forward? Jump it is. No. The bees! Ah! No, not the bees. They're in my eyes. Ah! Oh shit. Ah. Okay. But yeah, I'm just curious, you guys um, didn't answer me last time, but what do you think of the game? Fur trader, okay. Do we want to buy health or Uzi or bow? Health it is. There was a tornado. Of course there is. That makes sense. And the wagon was picked up by the tornado. With buffalo, huh? Yes? Yeah, of course. The wagon axle broke, the wagon was stuck. Kaori left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post. Oh, not this again!
Camp of Sleeping Travelers. Do you steal the supplies or no? You'll steal their stuff. Okay. Oh! Kari felt no remorse for stealing the supplies and murdered the families in cold blood. Yikes! was haunted by the spirits of the travelers she'd murdered. What? You took our stuff! Shit! Kaori <laughs> reached the wagon after repairing the wagon travel forward. They reach the river! Too deep to fort. Uh. Alright. Um, We shall take the desert path. Wait, no, we shall swim. No, wait, a desert path. I was gonna go back and forth, but we're gonna go for the desert path. Tom accidentally got some food in the pistol, causing it to jam. Why do I always jam the damn pistols in this stupid game? Ah. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we can get one health or a bit of ammo. What would you guys want to do, Cody Vader? Health? Okay. And avoided venomous snakes. But my pistol is of course jammed. Okay, that's good. The hungry vultures made things worse. If we can get to the end with everyone alive, we unlock a new wagon. Stupid jammed. How do you even get food in your gun? Like, seriously. I mean, only I can, apparently. There was some supplies in the sand of the side of the trail. Kaori left the wagon to investigate. Oh boy, what is this gonna be? Quicksand. Scorpion saw this weak prayer, yep. <laughs> okay, the mountain pass. They fixed the pistol jam. Good. <sighs> and they went hunting. Also good. At least you don't have to finish the run with full health. You only have to finish it with everyone alive. These wolves are really annoying. They came across a fur trader. Alright, we can get one health. Or just other stuff. Kamikaze wolves, yes. 
Reminds me of Star Trek Voyager. Could have made it to your destination a whole lot safer if you just stopped taking side trips. I mean, it's true. Turns out my mountain was actually an active volcano. Oh no. Oh boy. Great. Wolves burning alive, run for the lava. I think we are close... Close to the end, aren't we? Doesn't it, like, stop after the volcano? Or is there more? I want that health, damn it. More wolves rang out of the lava. Great. Oh! Oh shit. Double shit. Ah. Oh. They drove off a cliff. Some eagles attacked the wagon. Oh wait, now we get the river stuff. I thought it was over already. Alligators in the river. Also good. Ah, fierce cries for help were quickly silenced by the river. Damn it! Sorry. Cory was eaten by an alligator! No! Oh. I at least made it to the sunset. Well... Sadly, we got two casualties, but I made it to the end! So the normal wagon is now done as well. Well, let's check out Survival Fighting Fish. Ah, oh, this one, okay. One or two more runs after this, and then I have to stop for today, but I must say it's a fun game. And there's a lot more to unlock. Narwhals, of course.
<laughs> give you migraine forever, yeah. How am I supposed to avoid that? Or that. Or that. Or this. I guess the fur hides don't really do anything in this mode. A brana ate Henry bones and all. A novel impaid Catherine taking her on a magical sea adventure as she died. Yikes. This is bad! Luke was killed by Piranha. Yep. Ouch. That might be two stars? Yeah, you have to survive three minutes. That's, that's the goal for all of these. You have to survive three minutes. Okay. Well, all good. All right, new adventure. Let's go adventure. Who wants to join? Could help the score. Yeah, maybe. I'll hop in one, I guess. Who else wants to join me? No, it's not Hotel California. True, 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 true. <laughs> Okay, Corsair. Uh, Kaori, sure. And there we go. And we'll try the new wagon. The, uh, invisible... Hard to see. It's... Just... <laughs> it's it's just a cow! Or it's, it's just an ox! There is no wagon! It's just a... Oh, there's only one health, too. There were a lot of squirrels.
Cowards of the wagon and found some edible mushrooms. Oh, not this again. She felt funny. How do you do this? Kaori battled her inner demons. Painful memories bounded around in her head. Hours later, Kaori returned to reality and the wagon. They reached the river crossing. Okay. Corsair had a brilliant idea to try to jump, or they could ford it. Jump. Okay. Whee! Land on the other side. The end of the other great plains. Can we get some health? I would like some health. Tom came down with purple fever! What? What even is purple fever? And a large herd of buffalo, of course. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Tom recovered from purple purple fever, okay. Health I never had, that's good. Ah, they came across a fur trader. To trade them dinosaur eggs, to replace their invisible pistol. Corsair Kaori, yes. Dinosaur eggs or no, keep this gun. Alright, we got dinosaur eggs. All of the recreational buffalo shooting started the prairie fire. Great. They hurried to escape the fire. Strange smell coming from a nearby camp. He decided to investigate. Strange smell. Oh my god. Tom felt sick. No! No! Tom saw an antique pistol sitting near the camp. He picked it up on his way back to the wagon. On his way back to the wagon, Tom heard a noise coming from the tall grass. Ah! It was a diseased monkey! Excuse me, what? The plague turned Tom's inside into green goo. Ah, shit. 
<sighs> they reached another river, this one was too deep to ford. Corsair, do we swim or do we go for the desert? You know me and narwhals. So is that a yes or a no? Desert. Okay, okay. Uh, I feel like that little monkey event just now may have unlocked something. Oh well, we'll have to try it again at some point. They came across an experienced traveler named Thomas. Thomas offered to join their party as a guide in exchange for 49 animal, animal hides. Oh, we did not have enough. Ah, oh, that sucks. They avoided venomous snakes. No so supplies in the sand, or you'll have to back it to investigate. Are you gonna be stuck in quicksand again? Seems like it. Yep. This is like what, the third time, Cody? <laughs> ah crap. Stun Kaori killing her. Ah, bummer. The oxen ate some funny smelling shrubs. The oxen seems confused. Ah, oh, reverse controls. Food supplies were. Oh no, it's reverse controls. This is horrible! A pack of wolves smelt the blood. Just gonna try to focus on the wolves. With these silly reverse controls. The auction finally started to act normal again. Oh, thank god. Corsair came across a fur trader. Alright, Corsair. I guess health? Well, you can't buy anything else, so... Oh, the active volcano again. Trying to hit them, but it's kind of difficult. Guess you can't. Corsair drove off a cliff. Okay, we're still we're still going, Corsair, we're still going. Uh oh. Oh 
Okay. Avoid boulders. This thing doesn't really work on folders that well. Salmon season, bears. Okay. This thing again. What do you think, Corsair? Can we make it to the end? Came calm to the coast. I wonder if I can shoot down these pelicans. I've been wondering for a while. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Kind of weird. But yeah. Congratulations. Victory! We beat it with the invisible wagon. Awesome. All right, I'll try out the last survival modes, and then I'm gonna ask Chet something. So, let's see, Howling Good Time. Well, I guess I can ask it while I'm busy here. Would you guys like to see this game tomorrow again? Yes or no? Anyone else besides Kaori? Well, one, 131. Oh, 132. Well, I'll get one star in there. Well, I'm just gonna check. We have to survive 50 in shuffle. There's a couple of survival things to do. When we have a couple of things left to unlock and to clear. We have to beat it with the dinosaur. The fancy, I think. And the train. So, yeah. But, okay, I think I'll just stream this game tomorrow again, and then 
probably next weekend, depending on everyone involved. But there is a decent chance we'll start Edgeworth next weekend. But I don't know for sure yet. I can't promise anything. It is in the works. It should be soon. Not 100% sure if it will be next weekend, but I will let you guys know sometime after Wednesday. Then I know for sure. But for the time being, though, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more crazy... Super awesome, amazing adventure, a wagon adventure. So thank you all very much, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.